What's up, fellas? Welcome back to another Madden 15 video. Today we're taking a look at uh, stuff for Madden 16, actually. We're going to be looking at some training camp stuff. Uh, one of the things I like to do in preparation for the next season during the summer months is uh, take a lot of time and, and, and get back to basics and, and back to you know the, the foundation of Madden. And so uh, today we're going to be taking a look at our zone beater, a typical concept to beat zone uh, defense. And it's found in almost every playbook, but we like to use trips formation. So we like to overload one side, uh, in, in essence, to overload the zone. And so what we like to use uh, over here is we like to use the bunch week. And we're in the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. We're going to use one of my favorite plays, the play action post play. And what it's going to cause is going to cause a lot of uh, zone con beating concepts over the middle of the field. Uh, we have a man beating bailout route if we need to, uh, but we do have a lot of zone beating potential with this play because of the three receivers in one section of the field. So we're going to go ahead and call this play. And now what I like to do in, in is, is come out in this play, and I like to first uh, take my running back place him on a streak pattern. And then second, I like to take my tight end, and uh, you can slant him, um, but what we'll notice is that the slant is a really quick read, and uh, I don't know necessarily that I personally like the slant read. Uh, I personally like to put him on an in pattern. Uh, I think just for timing sakes, it does a little better job. Now, when we're facing this, what we want to do is we want to look at points and sections on the field, and, and I think that this is really important in Madden, uh, especially for reading the defense. So what I like to do is I like to look to the left side of the field, scan it real quick just to look at where the defense is going, then to the middle of the field, and then to the right side of the field. And it should, by that information, within quick like one to two seconds, I should gather the information of where the defense is and then I can make a read now I suggest doing this every snap in preparation for Madden 16 because I think that this is one of the most underrated tips that you're going to get is is what it does is it allows you to read the defense and it gets you in the habit uh, of looking at where the defense is as opposed to where your receivers are because I should know where my routes are going. I should know that my in route is triangle, my, my deep post is X, and my slant route is a square. Uh, but I don't necessarily know where the defense is going uh, post now, so I have to check that. So here I'm going to look to my left. I see that I have a little void here to dip this ball under to DeMarco Murray. So I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that. That's against a cover four. Now, what you'll see here is as we go through this play, uh, I can also check, okay, all right, I see that they've come down, so now I can hit this deep post over the middle. A couple of different things here uh, that you want to look for is, first and foremost, you want to look where the safeties are going. If the safeties are coming down, that is a quick instant tell that they may be in a hook zone. So for example, if they're maybe running a, a cover three buzz, and you'll see that the safety is going to come down, by me glancing, I'm glancing deep, I'm glancing to the corners and to the safeties to see where their role is. So here I look to the left, I look to the back to the right, and I see that that safety rolls down the middle. So th this little slant route might not be an option for me. What I want to do is I want to throw in behind it. So let me show you an example of what I'm getting at here. So here we're going to look at this cover three buzz again. So here I look left, I see nothing, I come right back, I see that the safety comes over so I can hit this deep post in behind where that safety, where that void the safety was vacating. Now a quick adjustment that your opponent can make to shut something like this down is they can take the safety, put him in a, a little more like a deep zone, uh, and then maybe hook this guy. Um, and something like this. Now what you're going to see though is this is going to leave another void in the defense open. So by our progression reads, we look left, nothing, look back right, and we see that we now have these crossing patterns open up because they're giving more discipline to the deep uh, post route. So just a couple of things that I want to review in this video. First and foremost, you want to have trips formations to beat zone defense. Typically I like to use the bunch because it's also a compressed set and can beat man-to-man -man coverage if your opponent changes things up on you and calls man-to-man -man coverage. You can you'll be able to beat it uh, with this little C route out route here to Des Bryant. Uh, and typically that's pretty uh, pretty successful year to year. Uh, but in preparation for Madden 16, guys, what we're trying to do with this series is just give you options, give you different opportunities to uh, learn some techniques and things that you can do uh, to quickly prepare you 
uh, for the next season's game. One of my favorite things to do is work on my progression reads and work on reading sections of the field. So I want to point out, I want to look left, middle, and right. And I want to look at the deep corners. I want to see if the corners are going back or if they're coming up. If they're coming up, typically that means man-to-man -man or cover two. If the corners are going back, that typically means cover three to cover four. The, and also with the safeties. If the safeties are coming down, if one of the safeties comes down, then I want to know that that's cover three or something like that. If the safeties are going out and back, normally it's a cover two. Uh, and what you're also going to see is we want to throw to the side of the field that the safeties are vacating. So in the example, once again, of the cover three, if the safety comes down, you see the safety comes down in the box, we're going to be able to hit this deep post over the middle. However, if the safety were to stay back like we showed earlier, we're able to hit the underneath slant route. This is part of beating zone defenses. You want to have route combinations that work one off one another and stretch the defense vertically as well as horizontally. So that's our first video for this Madden 16 training camp. I did this last year. I'm going to do it this year for the next year's game. I hope to give you guys some helpful advice uh, on things that I'm doing to prepare for next season's game, and hopefully it will make you guys better as well. If you have any questions or anything that you need uh, from my end, you can contact me by hitting me up in the comment section below. Also, guys, if you enjoyed this video and would like to